So a lot of you probably have the newest 4.2 build of Blender, and you've probably noticed that a lot of the settings in EV are a little bit different, and that can be especially tricky with glass because um, some of the things you used to enable to get kind of like the glass shader looking good are kind of like moved. So I'm gonna show you in this tutorial how you can get some realistic looking glass in Eevee. I'm just gonna be using this um, scene that I have lying around just to demonstrate and we're just gonna make um, a simple glass material. I'm gonna go through some of the settings to make it look nice. So um, you know, just grab yourself a scene. Um, it can be any object, just put some lights on it and um, let's jump in and make one. So let's start off by going to Eevee and whatever object we're gonna be working with, if we're gonna add um, a material to it, we wanna go over here, we wanna enable ray tracing. That's really important, okay? So under your EV settings, under your render engine, and let's go ahead, select whatever object you wanna add glass to, go to your materials tab, and then just click here on new. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna call this glass, so we know what we're dealing with. And let's go down to the transmission over here. And to get that glass effect, we wanna take this weight all the way up to one. And we wanna come here to the roughness and take it down to 0 0.01. Um, you can take it all the way down to zero. I just think having a little bit of roughness adds a bit more realism. Um, I think that's probably more noticeable when you're dealing with cycles, but that's just what I'm gonna go with. So what we wanna do now is make sure whatever object you've added your glass to that you at least have some lights in your scene. I'm just using some simple area lights you're gonna notice that the glass steel looks really crap. So what you're gonna simply do is you're gonna go over down on your material settings for your glass, and we're just gonna go down to our settings here. And under the render method, we wanna make sure ray trace transmission is enabled here. And now we can see it's starting to look a little bit more like glass. And to make the distortions for the glass look even a little bit better, you can come here to the thickness and change it from sphere to slab. And now that just looks a little bit better. You're getting a little bit more transmission coming through. And already we have some nice looking glass here, but let's go a little bit further. Let's go into our shading workspace. And in rendered mode, what we wanna do is we wanna go and add a little bit more transmission here. So we're gonna grab our principle to just move it up. Just go shift A, search and get a transmission or transparent. That's what we wanna go for. So transparent shader. And then go shift A, search and go shader and mix, and we just wanna get the mix shader. And let's place it over here on this cable. And the transmission just goes into the bottom socket here. And at the moment, it looks a little bit too opaque. It almost looks like aerogel, which is not what we're going for. So we're gonna just take this value down to about 0.1 or so. And if you wanted to, you can grab your principles here and you can give your glass some color. So I'm gonna go with a nice kind of reddish, saturated reddish color, like so. And now I have some nice looking glass. Now, does this look as good as the result we get in cycles? Not really, but it's EV and it's almost real time. I mean, it's real time, but you get a little bit of noise, but I mean, it's really, really still a pretty good result and Blender's come a really far away. So um, that is how you can, um, you know, set glass up in a new build of Blender 4.2. And you know, glass, it looks relatively realistic. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll see you again in another Blender tutorial.